Hello, hello everybody, it's WebProf Chalf, we're back again with another video. We've now watched the video about my boy Scamboli in a bit. This is a chainsaw man. Listen, I, I saw a dude with a chainsaw for a head and I had to click on it. I don't know what this is about. It's chainsaw man. How chainsaw bad man is disgusting. People who good start, good start, brother. Know me, know that I enjoy more relaxed anime, slice of life, moe kind of stuff like K on, where there's tons of young girls having a fun time. I've always ah found the softer too, features buddy. and slow pacing to be really appealing. And people who really know me know that I'm pretending to be a fucking idiot. Chainsaw Man is hardcore. The thing that's always captivated me about this guy's writing is his ability to kill off characters that you like, ones that you think of in oh, your spare bro, time. I hate that. For 40 chapters, you read some dude's entire 180 development from an oh, unlikable God. character to a brotherly oh, bond, God. and you're probably not the thinking guys. at this point. Next chapter, this character will be God killed by fierce. And what? a skull sticking out of it, but it happens. Wait, wait, this is an extremely wait. by finger brotherly bond, and you're probably not thinking at this point. <laughs> Next chapter, this character will be killed by fingers. And a skull sticking out of it, but it happens. This is an extremely unconventional story that flips and subverts every trope that you're supposed to be accustomed to. It shouldn't be in the mainstream. So when I heard it was getting an anime, I was like, huh? Ah. And when I heard that the preview is getting more attention than Attack on Titan, I was like, wait, huh? what's what? the hell? What's the story about? What's with all yeah. the hype? All questions. I mean, it's Chainsaw are not Man. Going to it's probably a dude killing people. So with Chainsaw chainsaws. Man is about a kid named Denji. Denji has supremely fucked up by picking bad parents. His dad left them with a debt that's impossible to pay back, ah. especially for a kid. Worst of all, he has to pay that debt back tomorrow, or be cut up into tiny pieces and sold. I think that's how debts are supposed to be. It's not the day tomorrow. It's you know and and soon. Oh. He meets a devil almost ready to face his death and is shocked to find that the little guy isn't in the best shape himself. So they ah. make a deal to help each other out. Denji hunts devils Bite with cheated to pay back his debt in exchange for Denji saving Pochi's life. So getting yeah, a job is been. solved. Being taken advantage of, however, is not. He's trapped in debt. The dude lives off a slice of bread a day. He sold one of his nuts. His nuts, yes, like. Right <gasps> What the fuck? I need to rate this now. I got his nut back. Denji lives a destitute life of poverty, risking his life for table scraps until eventually he makes it out and becomes a professional devil hunter. Denji is a fucking weirdo, though. Midoriya, Ichigo, Tanjiro, these are solid characters with mm. tight morals. They're well, okay. Ichigo is semi normal. He goes around kicking people, but that's normal. Midoriya, he's a fucking. Hey, Midoriya is a weirdo. The dude, he's. He smells things all the time. I, re I recently started watching this. It's it's great, but he, he's not normal. They're also he's not all on some goody two shoe shit, and I love these guys. Sure. But it would also sure. feel weird to smoke around this motherfucker. Are you gonna call the police, Deku? Are you gonna put on your rabbit suit and beat me up? They always do the right thing. They're all safe and normal characters. This is what we've accepted shonen protagonists are like. Tanjiro didn't sell his eyeball so he could afford a slice of bread. That's what makes Denji interesting. He's basically a massive fuck you to most shonen protags. So when he says, yeah, I don't really wanna save these people, but uh, if you let me squeeze your tits, I'll do it. You're like, yeah, that's that, that's Denji. What? What? Motherfucker, what? It's that unorthodox approach to everything what? that enriches the already enchanting world. The devils are spawned from humanity's fear, so you got devils that's from fear of tomatoes all the way over to the fear what of the... leeches, to swords, to chainsaws. What the... There's an unfathomable amount of depth that leads to a proportionate amount of care what? that leads to a proportionate amount of personalities among the characters. It's Society bump. is shaped around these creatures being the norm. There's characters that join oh, the force. It's the girl. Revenge. It's the girl from that one anime with uh, with uh, where they go doggy style to go into the mecha. I've not watched it, but I saw Jujuk talk about it. Characters that join the force just to get revenge on one devil. There's kids like Denji out there, so you wander this immersive world where quite literally anything can happen and you're absolutely powerless to stop its pace. People die, bad guys win, and the only thing you can predict here is that you can't predict a fucking thing. Chainsaw Man is disgusting. It's a genre-bending gore fest, densely populated with some of the best fights in manga leading to some of the craziest really? panels ever. Each one of them somehow pushes the envelope uh -huh. even further every couple chapters, so I feel like a goddamn an idiot because I looked at this a year ago and said to my friends, Yeah, if they ever adapted Chainsaw Man, they would have to do it in full CGI. I said that thinking I was right. Oi.
Error for or for. preview literally brought a tear to my eye. It looks like a movie, dude. So no shit people are hyped. They've already been excited before that. Chainsaw Man is a unique marvel of storytelling, so it only makes sense that the community behind it is just as diverse and expressive. I have literally never seen a manga fan base that is as dedicated and tight as this. People were animating panels Damn. and making insane music videos for the manga far before the preview, and I just Damn. want to take a moment to showcase the crazy effort and talent that Chainsaw Man inspired I, 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 people. I, 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 Oi, oi. Is this XXX Tentacion? By chance, the other night I was feeling like a fucking scumbag. Uh, I wanted to flex my superiority over others and be a okay. hall monitor. So I booted up Reddit like everybody else. To my surprise, Studio Mappa was holding an event for Mappa. all sorts of upcoming shows. They had this beautiful looking movie. You can barely begin to imagine how well, awesome the shots insane. were to make. The, the characters seem distinct, the music is great. Hey, can you keep it down? Hey! Hey! Okay, now what, what, what the fuck is this? Someone making tea? Mappa and Madhouse are dropping a collab. I have no idea what's going on here, but I do know that it's pretty and made Waifu. by two monsters in the anime industry. Attack on Titan ah. had this presentation. Yo, what happened to your hand, bro? Made by two monsters in the anime industry. Attack ah. on Titan had this presentation hosted by possibly the cutest man I've ever seen. Boy. Boy. Joji? No way! K-pop? So there was a lot of cool stuff that I and everybody in chat did not give a fuck about. At any given moment, there was at least six to eight messages saying, "Where is hey, Matsuri?" Talk about. Hey, I see at any Matsuri. given moment, there was at least six to eight messages saying, "Matsuri, where is Chainsaw Man? Me want Chainsaw Man." And occasionally there would be a bunch of dorks going, "Remember, this is actually a Mappa event, not a Chainsaw Man event." Followed by, "Shut up, retard." It was awesome. And when the preview dropped. We went wild. I was screaming at my monitor when chat saw Makima, they started barking like dogs. Redditors learned they could farm a ridiculous amount of karma by posting the same video over and over, and apparently the hype beat out Attack on Titan, not just during the event, but the trailer blew that shit out the one million views in seven hours just then in just four hours. damn use chainsaw man last week and is, there's when is the this really that people were really popular? care for this and it's still only a manga that's crazy to me Why fans are I also acting as if this is the best story ever and the anime will unabort babies actually that would suck they're acting like this anime will cure cancer and make you fly so what's up with the hype is it warranted should you yeah. get excited there's a thing I read Obviously, the manga? it's not going to be for everybody it's too far out there but if you're one of the Gura, what happened? Gura? It's a spider, Gura. Fuck. People who get Chainsaw Man, you become a zombie driven by its hypnotic storytelling until you've reached the last chapter. The panels have a life of their own, showcasing fights that actually make you feel and hear. The fight against the Eternity Devil is grimy and claustrophobic. Eternity Guts Devil. Shower the screen to give you a palpable sense of so disgust. So you can so enchant chance us. When finally came through and escaped, this wave of relief it? washed over me like... The characters are so flexible and non-static, like Aki, who's initially this punk asshole that tries to intimidate Denji into leaving and ends up getting his nuts kicked in by Denji right after. Ah. This guy becomes so valuable to the story. Ah, that's how they become friends forever. No nuts friendship. One guy saw the nut, the other guy lost the nut. He becomes a much needed friend for both us and Denji in a story with not a lot of light. Chainsaw Man is not valuable for its fights or characters, but for its monstrous versatility. It's good at telling sad stories, it's good at happy times, and keeps you guessing at every turn. If adapted correctly, if it looks nearly as beautiful as the preview went on the show, and if they capture yeah, the quality of the manga, good. Chainsaw Man will be on half our top five list. I'm calling it now just like I did a few years ago, and I will be making a video about it. So on am I contributing wait, to overhyping it? Going best manga? I don't know, fuck Can't you! Watch that. Hey, come on, that's, that's mean! Scam! Scam! God damn, bro! Okay, this looks fun. I might actually go and look at it. I've been reading a lot more manga lately. Uh, mostly Korean stuff. Uh, I think it's called Manwa, but I don't fucking know. Uh, I just call it manga because that's basically what it is with an extra W or some shit. Uh, but it's colored, so it's pretty cool. 
Anyway, uh, what y'all think? Anyone read this? Then what y'all think in the comments, please. I'm curious. I might even go and read this now. Well, not now, now, but later on now. Anyway, uh, quick thank you to you, to members of Patreons. Thank you all for the support. Appreciate you all, and I uh, hope you have a nice day. That's not a sentence, but we'll go with it, okay? <laughs>